home video games were notorious for burning images onto the family television. So I drew an underground game. You had to avoid all brightly coloured backgrounds. And games are either underground where it's black or up in space where it's black. I was drawing the maps on the TRS-80 screen using the basic program. I could assemble program on, on the TRS-80 in the TRS-80 memory and then squirt it into, I could fill the spectrum memory in two seconds with that and it, it gave a very fast workflow. Uh, I didn't even have to reload it if, uh, if the spectrum crashed. It, I just restart the spectrum, squirt it over again in two seconds and it was, it was very productive. I made a small board on, on Vero board Originally, it plugged into the back of the spectrum and, had, and came from the parallel interface on, on, on the TRS-80 and, and it let me fill the, the memory of the spectrum uh, from it was one command. On Manic Mana, you always, you always started in the same place. There was a fixed start place for the screen. Each screen was a separate, totally discrete, separate puzzle. You had to get from the start to the end. The game I, I, I drew uh, is not is quite different from the the game that emerged. 